Watch this before getting Riverside FM. Today I'm going to talk about my experience with Riverside FM and give my honest review after one year of using this tool and recording 100 podcast episodes, or also known as interviews. And I'm actually going to jump in the tool here of Riverside FM and show you what I like and what I don't like. So this is the user dashboard. This is really easy to use. And by the way, if you guys want to follow along during this, I'll put my affiliate link in the description. So the user dashboard here, it says, what are you creating to do? You can record, you can add participants, you can schedule a video, you can upload, you can get into the video editor, and then there's an AI voice feature. But Riverside FM is most famous for being able to record high quality interviews. And most people are using these for podcast episodes. So let's jump into the dashboard here and try to record within the studio. So getting into the studio to record is extremely easy. You just choose your camera, you choose which microphones you want to use and the speakers, etc. And you click on join studio. So the dashboard is extremely easy to use and so is the studio. Once in your studio here, it'll automatically pull up your camera and all you have to do is copy this URL link and then send that to the person you're looking to interview or you're doing the podcast with. And then once they pop up in here, you can hit accept and that will be the interview. And what's really cool is you can actually do a live stream as you do this as well. And you can have multiple participants or visitors or guests on the podcast or video recording, whatever you want to call it. So I really like how simple it is to use. And once the people are in here, all I had to do was hit record, start recording. I will say one setback or one con is you'll actually have to pay to get anything above 720p as far as recording. What's cool though is if you get the standard plan here, we can record in up to 4K video, crispy, but we'll only get five hours of recording time. But if you get the Pro, which is 29 bucks a month, you'll get the 15 hours. But honestly, the pricing isn't bad, and I compared it to all the competitors like StreamYard or Restream or, or EV Mux, whatever it's called. And Riverside FM is very fairly priced. And honestly, all these streaming platforms are like the same pricing structure. It's almost like the same company might own all of them. Hmm. So really the key differentiator between Riverside FM and a lot of the other streaming platforms is that we can actually record these interviews in 4K. Pretty much all the alternatives are unable to do this. We can only record in 1080p. And that's because when you go and hit record, they're actually doing a local recording on your computer. So it's doing multiple recordings. A lot of people don't really understand that. It's kind of hard to understand, but at the end of the day, we're still getting 4K recordings, which is better than the alternatives. So once we're done recording here, I just hit stop and then our video goes into the dashboard. One thing I kind of don't like is it takes a minute to kind of upload and render because I found myself just like Jones in to look at the interview and I'm just like, hey, I got to get in here. But actually, you got to give the video recording some time to upload and render or process, I guess you'd call it. But once it's done processing, we can just click on it and we can actually go in here and edit it. And the video editor within Riverside is actually pretty good. What I really like here, you can highlight words and you can just hit the delete button and it does transcription video editing which is what a lot of mainstream video editors are moving towards because it's a lot faster to video edit. Instead of actually getting into the video editor and putting splits where people are done talking, AI can transcribe the words and then just remove the words from the video. And I gotta say, it's a huge time saver if you have an interview that's like three hours long. And it essentially has a built-in video editor in here. You can split wherever you want, you can add music, you can add captions, you can add images. And if you pay to get the pro version, it will actually go back and forth from camera views using AI to figure out who's talking to split the screens, which can be a huge time saver while editing long podcasts. So to give my honest review on Riverside, the tool is extremely helpful because it allows us to record 4K interviews while being remote. You know, I can get on my computer and do an interview with somebody in Alaska and it can be a 4K recording. When you compare what Riverside FM does to the alternatives, they're leading at what they're doing. And they also have this other cool feature where you can make AI voiceovers. I'm not a huge fan of AI related stuff, but it can be cool. And again, guys, if you're looking for more information on Riverside FM, my affiliate link will be in the description and you'll get a free trial to try it out. That being said, my honest review on Riverside FM, like I said, there's nobody else doing the interview recordings like them. It does have some setbacks and limitations. A lot of people have experienced issues on their recordings with the audio and such. Riverside FM allows noobs or beginners to be recording podcast episodes. Because if you know how to video edit, what you can do is actually just get on a Zoom call and record the audio and then just record 
record video separately and then in a video editor attach it to the audio but you'd have to know how to video edit again guys my affiliate link will be in the description to get a free trial hit me up in the comments what type of content are you looking to create is it a podcast are you doing interviews do you have a new idea don't be afraid to reach out please consider subscribing and i'll see you in the next one